I think the ATO have been very clear to acknowledge the fact that their uh, rollout of IT systems hasn't been as effective as they would have liked, I think, in, in recent times. Um, and it's been, been lengthy and costly in, as a process. So we're saying no problem at all in terms of the increased automation of the system, provided it's done smoothly. If a practice is solely focused on income tax returns for its bread and butter, um, those days are numbered. And so we're encouraging as many members as possible to think about integrating their businesses uh, both vertically and horizontally. Look at other lines, you know, business advisory services, financial advisory services, because that's what clients want. And what we're seeing is there's a real increase in micro-businesses. And a lot of those businesses seem to be digital businesses or online businesses. So that seems to be increasing enormously, which I believe gives a new type of, of advisory opportunity for accountants. The firms that literally get one key blind spot, which is that they are actually a tech company now, they're not, accounting and tax is almost secondary. They need to understand their technology companies first and foremost. They're the ones that will drive higher valuations. I think the thing is to look at uh, the service you offer is, isn't just about obviously doing the return and processing it through a system, it's actually bigger than that. It's like, actually, what is your client doing and how are they doing it? Because that client, if you don't understand them, they're moving. And what really does, does value add mean? And for me, there's an aspect where software only plays part of that. The other part is the, is the proactive accountant getting out there and <coughs> spending time with some of these new world businesses and understanding their business models and understanding the way they work and proactively helping them in day-to-day -day practical experiences. Having an iPad and having your software out on the road enables you to work wherever you are. So you can be out on their site, watching their, them do their business and still connected to your office doing your, your work at the same time. And time is one of the most critical resources an accounting practice has. Perhaps the most precious thing an accountant has is trust. And that if you, uh, if you do anything that impinges upon that trust or threatens that trust, uh, forget time, forget money, forget accounting systems. Uh, if you are no longer the trusted advisor to your client, uh, you can give the game away. We've got to focus in on, on how we enhance that trust relationship by keeping practitioners up to date with the emerging changes in the profession, data security, data enhancements and gaining efficiencies. To think that your data is private is a really ignorant position to be in at this point in the global economy with what's happening with the NSA and the sharing of data between countries that happens openly and freely that people I think aren't aware of. Um, it's almost like if you're worried about privacy, it's being shared. Your data's being shared and it doesn't matter where it is. Your phone calls, if it's in a cloud computing system, there is easy ways for any agency to effectively see your data and that means tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people can access your data. Um, privacy, uh, I feel like, is a responsibility of the company to make sure they're not using that data for the wrong purposes. And that's, a, that's a, I think, an absolute given for people in our situation. And we're in the trust game too. We break that and we're gone. So com companies like Reckon and Sasu do spend a lot of time making sure we don't burn that trust. So I think the, the abuse risk is more actually, if you look at what's been going on, it's actually at the government level where this is happening. It's not actually at the private sector so much. I implement a lot of cloud-based systems for different clients. And the first thing that they always say to me is, well, I have to go and talk to my accountant and see what they say. And it's like, well, hang on. I always come back and say, well, what's right for your business? They might say, oh, my accountant only works with Zero, or my accountant only works with Sasu. If your accountant can't move with you and your technology, get a new accountant. I totally agree with um, the direction Reckon's going in terms of the syncing approach to multiple products, because it's the only way you can truly um, treat the client with respect in terms of what's right for their business. I think the second you get into an environment where it's a single software vendor, um, single client accounting approach, you've, you've completely switched teams and you've gone over to being about your practice and a single vendor instead of looking at what the client actually needs. No one's really doing tax in Australia online yet and it's still probably a while before that happens and it's early days. So. I've been saying to practices, just sit with what you're doing at the moment. Don't jump into the first ship that comes into port and, and see what develops and make a smart decision around that. Because it's all well and good to make your practice 10 or 20% more efficient in terms of how your process returns, but you can lose an awful lot of clients because you spent your time on that instead of spending your time understanding the client and learning the technologies they need to know 
and understanding what system they should be in and retaining that client. So churn is going to be much higher between accountants like it is in software products now. And so I think you can win on the cost side, but the revenue side is where the game's at. And so be big-minded about that, I think. We sometimes lose sight of the fact that accounting practices themselves are small businesses in, uh, generally, and sometimes the last business that an accountant works on is their own. And um, so we, we encourage our members that before you go out providing good services and advice to your clients, make sure your business is sound first. So it is inevitable. It's just a fact of life that you know accounting systems, software packages, um, cloud-based computing is here. It's here to stay. It will continue to evolve. And the, the accountants that don't innovate and don't evolve will, will get left behind.